Back with more SPL Week 4, we got TDK from the Raiders versus Nintendi from the Tigers. The Raiders are up 2 and 1 at the moment. Looking at the teams real quick, we got some nice uh, Medicham Standard Voltron from TDK's side. We'd probably see him Clef, Ija Scarf Jump or Scarf Drill, Avi Torn, and more so Fizz Dev Rotom. On the Nintendi side, I'm expecting the Scissor to be SD. The Heatron is the Rocker. We'd probably like Torn and Lava Plume. Last move could be Toxic. A uh, Bulky Stami would recover Scald, Spin, and last move either Toxic or T Wave. Among Us would Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Spore. Last move either HP Fire or clear smog. Uh, Bandit Rewild and then Glisco with Roos Earthquake. Torn slash SD in the last move either knockoff or Ice Fang of Assault, something like that. See a Tornadoes versus Scissor lead. TDK has a few plays. He could either knock off expecting a switch into Glisco or Heatran to get rid of the item. He could U-turn to try and get the management on a switch or he could Heatwave expecting Nintendi to stay in with the Scissor. Um, I feel like this is a pretty tough turn for Nintendi. Because if he stays in on a heat wave, that would be bad for him. But if he switches out and TDK U turns and Medicham comes out, he doesn't really have good answers for Medicham. His um, answer is like bulky Stami. So he does stay in expecting Tornadoes not to go for heat wave because he has a heat turn in the back. So really high risk r play by Nintendo turn 1. Did work out, but I personally would not have made that play. Uh, I would have just gone the heat turn there. Now he can get his Glisco in to get the Toxic Orb activated because if the Toxic Orb is activated, the Glisco can switch into AV Tornadoes for the rest of the game pretty much. Um, AV Torn carries uh, U Turn, Heat Wave, Hurricane, and Knock Off in Auras most of the time, and Glisco does carry some Spadef. It's gonna be able to eat up those hits with ease. Uh, Nintendi's other potential play here is going Weaver and then knocking off probably an item from either Rotom or Clef, but I think going Glisco, getting the Orb activated, definitely gets him more out of the turn. He does just do that. I think TDK is going to U-turn here into his Rotom. Um, so if I'm Nintendi here, I would like attack, go for like knockoff or something because you don't want to let the Rotom in for free. Goes for facade, so he's probably facade, roost, SD, and earthquake. So I would just hydro pump here if I'm TDK uh, because Spadef Gliscor can actually only take like it only takes like 60 from pump. Also, Gliscor is faster than Rotom and they can roost off and pump can also miss so i think staying in here from nintendo is actually not a bad play uh, i personally would not have stayed in with the scissor but i kind of agree with staying in with the glisco because if you go amongus on a volt switch that puts you in a really bad position um, now this rotom is going to lose when we want to the glisco he's just going to be able to attack here and he's a plus four so it's going to hurt he's forced to pump here he does miss which sucks a lot so now he's forced to sack this and then go into um medicham to for threaten out the glisco with an ice punch and yeah, and then he's gonna go to Starmie here, expecting the Ice Punch. And now TDK can either go to Tornadus or Clefable, expecting the Scald. Nintendi could double um, into Heatran here, expecting the Clef slash Torn to come out, but also just Scalding seems fine. And if he stays in, he gets some leftovers back with his Starmie. But yeah, Nintendi staying in kind of makes sense. Um, now either Knockoff or U-Turn is gonna come here into the Clefable, most likely. I assume Nintendi stayed in to go for Recover. But yeah, obviously, Medicham is a huge threat to Nintendi, and if he go went Among Us on a Volt Switch from the Rotom, it would have been potentially bad for him. So I do get that play. And yes, like I said, Glisco can also take Pump and boost it off, and it can also miss. So he CMs up here. Um, I would just get the Rocks up, and then you can, like, if you have Taunt, you can go for that next turn. This Clefable is not going to win the game when he has a Heatra and Among Us and a Scizor. Um, even though it could potentially have flamethrower for Among Us and Scissor, that's fine for Nintendi. So he does protect. Protect is his last move, so it's probably Lava Plume Protect. Um, Among Us does come out, and Among Us can either clear Smoke or Spore. Probably Spore is the better play. The Fable is not going to win the game, but it's really valuable, as in it can switch into Scald from Starmie, and it can take on the Wii World somewhat. So I don't think TDK should um, put the Fable to bed. He should sack something else to sleep. So yeah, the um, Scizor is probably like SD, U-turn, Roost, Bullet Punch, Heatran we saw was Protect, Lava Plume, Rocks, Taunt. Stami we still have to see the last move if it's T-River Toxic. So Garjam is gonna get sacked to sleep here. And now Nintendo should double into something that prevents TDK from going into Medicham or Excadrill for free. Because Medicham can potentially get a kill and Excadrill could get up the spin for free and Nintendo doesn't wanna let that happen. So Stami was the perfect play there and now he can just scald. I mean, he could have also doubled. Uh, because the TDK was forced to go on the cleft there, but this is fine because now we can just go on the Heatran. Uh, so if I'm TDK here, I would double into Medicham because it covers the Heatran and the Scizor, but he just just go for Calm Mind. Um, now Nintendi's going to U-turn out most likely because he should scout for the Clefable having Flamethrower. He goes in the Heatran, 
And now, if you're gonna taunt or Lava Plume, I would personally Lava Plume here just because exactly if TDK goes Heart Mage Gem and you Lava Plume there, then you can potentially burn him. So now I would just High Jump Kick here if I'm TDK because um, I don't think he's gonna go for Protect. He already showed it and the fake out is really obvious on this turn, so pretty sure he's not gonna Protect. I would just High Jump Kick here if I'm TDK. Also, the way Nintendo has been playing so far, he has been like staying in on everything, so he goes in the drill expecting to Protect. I don't think I would have made that play. Nintendo just Lava Plumes expecting him to not go for High Jump Kick. And now I would go into Gliscor here if I'm Nintendo expecting... No matter what he does, if he spins or if he quakes, I would go Gliscor, but he does stay in and sack his trend, which I heavily disagree with. Like, I get that Nintendo has been making aggressive plays and has been working out, but he just keeps making aggressive plays. Chet's going super well. Like, I understand sometimes making an aggressive play and it can work out in your favor, but I do not like it when he, like, he just stays in on everything. I heavily dislike that. But he's still in a good position, he can still win the game. Um, he can go into Wee Well here and pretty much click knock off. TDK either then has has to then either sack the drill or let the Clefable get knocked. And yeah, I just don't think it was necessary. Like Glisco seemed super free there. Even if TDK goes for a spin, you don't lose that much if you're in It's not like Medicham, which is a huge threat to your team, can come in for free on the Glisco when that comes in. When the Glisco comes in on the spin, then you can pretty much spam facade or not earthquake and you're fine so he does sack the drill which means rocks are here to stay um probably Fable is gonna come out here from tdk's side and this is yeah it's looking rough for tdk even though he did catch the drill with the earthquake he's like no 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 i've had enough nintendo you're staying in on everything <laughs> so yeah um nintendo could knock off here because moonblast doesn't oko we while he does get an unfortunate crit there uh, TDK knows that he might stay in because he has been staying in on everything. We will just eat that up. We will has decent speed up. Now Nintendo is gonna switch here. The TDK is probably gonna softball. It. I'm expecting the Mungus to come out, so a double into uh, Medicine would have been a oof, yeah, nice play. Scissor or Mungus that covers both, and now you high jump Kiki. That's gonna do a lot. I assume Nintendo went for U turn, and Nintendo can go Weavile here and then click uh, Icicle Crash or Ice Shard, depending on if he wants to risk missing. The reason why you would Icicle Crash, oh he goes Starmie, okay, he doesn't want to risk going Weevil and risk that, okay. But this gives him a f TDK free switch into Clefable. I assume we just see the Scald, he goes in the Torn, okay. Um, yeah, you can go Gliscor here on the knockoff, but he stays in with Starmie to Toxic Torn. And uh, now he's just gonna recover on a U-turn here, I assume. Oh, he just go Glisco on U-turn. Oh, he hurricanes. Well, I already thought he would have U-turned. And be in case Nintendo switches into Glisco, um, then he can get his Medicham. In. But if the Medicham is lacking like T-Punch, then it cannot hit the Starmie. So maybe that's the case. I think it's probably fake out Ice Punch, High Jump Kick, Zen Head, but maybe. So now um, Nintendo's gonna go st Starmie here, right? And High Jump Kick is gonna pick that off. Now, we can come out here. If Pursuit kills, Bandit Pursuit, if it kills, even if the Manichim stays in, then he can go for that. Or he can also just uh, go for like Ice Shot or Icicle Crash. So he just goes Guard Shump as a fodder, I assume. There's the Ice Shot. So he was fearing a potential Bullet Punch from the Medi, or he just didn't want to risk missing. Faber can go for Softball, and then he's going to switch out here into either Among Us or Scizor. Also, Guard Shump being that means Among Us can put something else to sleep again with Spore. So this is fine for Nintendi. I mean, am I just expecting the soft blood here from TDK? Uh, we still don't know the last move on the clef. It could be T ball or flamethrower. What else would be an option? I mean, T ball is sometimes used for talent flame, but he's not that weak to talent flame. This coming up, um, so Scissor is just gonna spam bullet punch here. If the clefable is max defense, then bullet punch doesn't kill, and he's able to soft blood this up. But the thing is, there's no way TDK can win this because bullet punch is like 48 PP. Also, the Scissor might have SD. But he doesn't even have to SD, just spamming Bullet Punch is a completely fine play. Because Softball only has like 16 PP, I think, yeah? And Bullet Punch does have 48 PP. And Clefable is only healing like 2% every turn or 4% sometimes. It's not healing much at all. And Bullet Punch will also crit eventually. And he will run out of Softball before Bullet Punch runs out, like I said. So just spamming this is completely fine in my opinion. Yes, he could go for SD expecting a Softball if he has that, but he doesn't have to. So that's the SD expecting another soft bolt. And now TDK is forced to attack. This bullet punch is gonna hurt. 
Do you see this flamethrower? Not Moonblast. So he could have potentially done a good amount to the Mungus earlier, plus two um, Earthquake picks off the Clef. Medichim is going to come out, get a kill, and then Weavile is going to come out and finish the game with Ice Shard. Um, because you don't have to risk the Medi having Bullet Punch. So Nintendi is going to win this for the Tigers. The scores are going to be 2-2 two two in the series. We're going to look at it real quick. Thank you guys for watching. Insane game, like some wild plays from Nintendi that I personally wouldn't make. But it worked out, so what can I say? Props to him. <laughs> One second, let me pause. But I would just be super mad if I was TDK that this guy stays in on almost everything. Sec. Pause it. Okay, so we do see here, um, Jinji vs. Eton Spirit, I uploaded that earlier. Metal vs. Lighthouses, I also recorded that. Um, but not narrated yet, waiting for my man Ultra Balls to help me with that. And there are obviously Call Your Keenan, I didn't record because it's Gen 2. I don't know anything about Gen 2. I don't also don't know people with knowledge about Gen 2. But yeah, now Nintendo does take the win and it's 2-2. Two and two. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Have a fantastic day and peace out.